everyone. Tetra 35 here. Today I'm going to be beginning a new playthrough. And it's a playthrough of a game that I've been waiting for ever since its surprise announcement at the last E3, I believe it was. And it's a game that I didn't even think that would even happen. I know it is a game that's been in pretty much production hell for the last 10 years. As a matter of fact, it was even, if I'm not mistaken from what I read, this game was originally thought of to be part of the Game Boy Advance at one point, but now we are finally getting it for the Nintendo Switch, and it is Metroid Dread, which is the actually the fifth installment of the 2D series. This is the is a sequel to Metroid Fusion. But uh, anyway, hope you guys are looking forward to this as much as I am playing this. I cannot wait to play this. I do apologize for the tardiness of this update uh, of this video. I'm actually recording this at 8.31 p.m. on Saturday, which would be yesterday by the time you guys are watching this, but I just finally got this delivered after a delay in my delivery. But uh, I'm so excited to play this, and hopefully you guys are excited to see me play this. And uh, Hopefully a lot of you guys have this game as well and are enjoying it, but um, anyway, by the way, uh, Hope you guys are having a good Sunday. I'm just so hype. I'm having trouble speaking English. I'm, boy, that's a switch. Me having trouble speaking English. But um, anyway, without further ado, let's play Metroid Dread. Now, I did see the intro, well, not the intro intro, but I made it all the way to the title screen here. Just to make sure that my game was working properly because... I should let you know that when I got this delivered, I had a free mug as a pre-order that got broken delivery, but... Oh my god, this music gives me goosebumps. You know, I'm not going to wait anymore. I'm just going to get into this. And you can see I didn't start a game yet. Metroid, a violent floating organism that drained energy from its prey through physical contact. Metroid, Metroids were originally created by the Chozo and named after the word for Ultimate Warrior. Their value as a bioweapon sparked several crises, and as a result, all traces of them have been eliminated. They are now extinct. X Parasite, a gelatinous parasitic organism indigenous to the planet SR388. It could absorb the DNA of its host, living or dead, and replicate its form. When infecting a living host, it could even access the host's memories. X parasites were driven not by emotion, but by an instinctive need to replicate and spread to increasingly stronger hosts. The inability to be controlled marked them as even more dangerous than their sole predator, the Metroids. Like the Metroids, they are believed extinct. There's the X parasite at the beginning of Fusion attacking Samus. Dang! With no Metroid surviving on SR388, it became infested with the X. Horrifying parasites capable of imitating any living being. Unaware of this, I set forth on the planet, got infected, and almost died. Hey, they even got the 8-bit Metroid sprite there. That's pretty cool. Samus's gunship looks amazing. The only thing that saved me was a vaccine created from Metroid DNA, which also left me uniquely able to oppose the X. This ability was tested immediately when I went to Biologic Space Laboratory's research station to investigate the distress signal. That's where fusion took place. There's the, uh, uh, SAX. There, I battled many powerful X-forms, including the SAX, which was the X mimicking me in my power suit at full strength. I eventually eliminated the X menace on SR388 by setting the BSL research station on a collision course with the planet. After that, the X and Metroids were just memories, or so we thought. Just when it all seemed over, the Galactic Federation received a mysterious video transmission. Oh, there's an X-Parasite. 
It showed an X, alive and in the wild. Thorough analysis proved the video was real. Although the sender was unknown, the transmission was traced to a particular planet. It was called ZDR. If the X had somehow escaped extinction out there, they would pose a threat to the entire galaxy. The Galactic Federation dispatched a research team of seven EMMI to investigate. Whoa. An EMMI is a large research robot designed to capture field samples and extract the DNA. Their incredible mobility and protective plating, made of the strongest stuff in the universe, practically guaranteed the mission's success. But not long after their arrival in ZDR, all communication was lost. What is happening on ZDR? Is the planet really infested with X? As the only one immune to the parasites, it's up to me to go there and find out. I guess that's Chozo language on the bottom. I think that's pretty cool. And I should say, in case you guys are wondering, not only am I going to have a video of this today, but I'm also going to be playing a, a, this tomorrow, and also I'm going to have a video on this on Tuesday. So there's going to be three straight days with Metroid Dread. So hopefully you guys are looking forward to that. And take a little bit of a break from Medieval, too. We'll soon be entering ZDR's atmosphere. Because Adam is the only one that calls Sam as lady. For those of you wondering what who Adam is, he used to be Samus's leading officer. That suit looks amazing, by the way. Looks like a Chozo structure. That elevator leads to the depths of an underground facility. Signal quality is not really low. Remote communication remains useful. Try to connect to the facility's network when you reach the bottom. That way, the main in contact. Any objections, lady? Yep, that is definitely Adam. Adam Malkovich. That emotional part in Fusion when Samus finds out that the computer at the, uh, the BSL station is Adam. The mechanical Chozo st uh, robot. Okay, this is like in a trailer.
Okay, I'm a little bit confused. Aim with the L1 button. Okay, jump with the B button. Shoot with the Y button. You can melee with the X button. Okay, it looks like I can't roll into a ball. At least not yet, anyway. I don't think I want to go there yet. Okay, looks like I can't go there yet. While tilting L to run, press ZL to slide. Hold L to use free aim mode and tilt L to aim. Okay. Oh, I got missile. I didn't even. Okay, our button gives me missiles. Okay, that's cool. Okay, that's a recharge station. Hold R to ready missiles, press Y to fire. Some blocks can be destroyed only by using specific weapons. You can see there's a missile icon right there, so... Some destructible blocks are hidden. If you run into a dead end, try shooting at your surroundings. Striking some blocks of missiles may reveal how to destroy them. and video log from the data you uploaded. I've run a full analysis, but I cannot account for why you lost consciousness. My readings indicate dramatic physical changes in you. Whatever caused these changes seems to have stripped you of most abilities. You might call it physical amnesia. Of course. It can't be a Metroid game unless we have to relearn all of our abilities, unfortunately. And I'm not gonna lie, Adam's voice sounds kind of creepy. <laughs> I mean, I, I I I can't say that's necessarily bad, but I don't know, it, it's it's gonna it's gonna be a uh, while for me to get used to that. That brings me to your assailant. I am checking the Federation database against your video log. It appears to have been a chozo. The attacker's identity is not yet clear. I have determined that you are somewhere within the depths of ZDR. Your top priority should be to return to your ship on the surface. This situation is precarious. Trust your instincts as you navigate upward. This planet appears to consist of multiple areas, shuttles, elevators, and other modes of transport connect them. Keep an eye out for ways to reach the surface. The ship's location is marked on your global map. Check it for yourself. You may encounter pockets of low temperature. Your Metroid DNA renders you vulnerable to such environments. Spending time in cold areas will be harmful to you. That makes sense. Metroids are weak to ice beam. There are many such cold areas scattered underground. Do not enter them with your basic power suit. One final thing. Underground interference is preventing radio transmissions. 
check in with me at any network stations you find. Sounds good, Adam. Save your progress? Absolutely. Okay, press the uh, plus button to open the map, press the minus to open the options. Ammo recharge station, that's network station. It looks like we're at a place called Artaria. Which is pretty cool. go back. Whoa. Oh, this aiming is so cool. And I know other Metroid games had the aiming too, but it's just, I would never not think that's cool. Let's try a missile and see if that works. Like I can't open that. Oh! Come on, Teddy, use your aiming. Okay, looks like I can't open those. So we don't have the equipment yet to open those doors. There we go, I don't need to recharge. Save again. Oh! Whoa! Use a melee counter at the right moment to parry certain attacks and automatically take aim at the attacker. Press X to use your melee counter now. Nice. Parry enemy attacks with a melee counter by pressing uh, X at the right moment. I was supposed to melee that. Oops. Nice! Okay, this is a... I think the parry feature was fe uh, first used in um, the uh, Metroid 2 remake. Metroid Samus Returns for the 3DS. I could be wrong about that, but... Nice! Think I'm getting used to that. Oh. Press X while running to execute a powerful dash melee. Unlike other melee counters, the dash melee will damage the enemy. 
like that. Cool. Okay. Wait a minute. If an area on the map is blinking, it indicates that a hidden item is there. There we go! Missile tank acquired. Missile in capacity increased by two. Nice. Oh, it's one of those things. An EMI mine's attack can be countered by pressing X at the exact moment of the flash. However, the timing is extremely difficult to gauge, making this a desperate maneuver. There we go. What the heck is that? Oh, she got some kind of ability, it looks like. The energy from the central unit transformed the arm cannon into an Omega Cannon. Omega Blaster Online. Hold L to use A mode, tilt L to aim, and the target is nearby, Samus will automatically face that direction. There we go. Continue. EMMI in the minimap. An EMMI that enters your minimap range is displayed. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm I'm back here. Okay. Come on! You have one chance to escape and capture the film. The timing is extremely difficult. Now, if I can get past this, then I'll be okay. There we go. Uh oh. Oh, come on! How am I supposed to get past this? Am I actually supposed to beat this thing? 
How am I supposed to beat this thing? There we go! Nice! Yeah, I am- I was actually supposed to beat this thing. Omega Cannon depleted and offline, reverting to regular arm cannon. Oh, that sucks. Oh, I can't go back up. Crap. Yeah, I can't go back up. There's another hope there's another save station. Okay, save your progress. I definitely will. And I think that's a good place to call this. We are getting used to life here on uh, Planet DZB or whatever it's called. Uh, new planet where we get to fight mechanical monstrosities. We're trying to figure out what the heck that big Chozo robot is. And we're getting uh, used to the controls and how uh, things are going to go on this planet. And I'm having a lot of fun with this game so far, and like I said, there'll be uh, an episode tomorrow and Tuesday as well, so hope you guys are looking forward to that. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Hope you guys are going to be enjoying this series as, as I am going to be playing this, and I'll see you guys again next time.